It's Umsum time! What if everyone had their own supermarket? No big deal. Umsum already has a supermarket. Oh, Umsum. If everyone had their own supermarket, kids may never leave the toy section of the supermarket. People who love to shop will be extremely overjoyed. Women may never get out of the makeup section of the supermarket. Men may never get out of the high-tech section of the supermarket. Getting children out of the candy section will prove to be almost impossible. There will be no need to go outside for shopping anymore. Streets may lie vacant. Some people may just spend the entire day trying out new dresses. Hmm. Some people may give up cooking altogether and start eating packaged food instead. Hmm. We may start getting huge electricity bills. Hmm. Thieves and aliens may all move in with us. Mm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Why are huh? white blood cells important for us? Cause they give burgers for free. <laughs> nah. Besides red blood cells, platelets, and plasma, our blood also contains white blood cells. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are important for us as they are a very essential part of our immune system. They protect us from diseases and infections. Mm. Let's look at the five major types of white blood cells. They are neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. Wow! Neutrophils ingest or engulf <laughs> harmful invaders and kill them. This process is called phagocytosis. Huh? Oh! Basophils release a chemical called histamine, which dilates blood vessels, increasing ah. blood flow, and thus helping transport more white blood cells to the infected ah. site. Eosinophils are involved in combating <laughs> parasites. Lymphocytes create antibodies to fight the invaders. Hmm. Last but not least, monocytes clean up dead or damaged cells and dead microorganisms. Hence, they are also known as garbage trucks of our immune system. Hmm. Why do we sometimes drool in our sleep? Cause we dream about burgers! <laughs> nah. There are various reasons behind this. Firstly, improper sleeping position. When we sleep on our stomach or on our side, gravity tends to pull the saliva out of our mouth. Now, when we are unconscious in sleep, our body helps us swallow the saliva. However, if it fails to do so, the saliva leaks out, thus causing drooling. Secondly, during certain allergies, excess saliva is produced. Now, this does not prove to be a problem during the day because we consciously swallow the saliva. However, when we are unconscious in sleep, if our body fails to swallow the excess saliva, it leads to drooling. Lastly, when our nose is blocked due to cold or flu, we open our mouth to breathe. Now, in such situations, if we sleep on our stomach or on our side, the saliva easily makes its way out of our mouth, thus causing drooling. Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm sorry. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster oh. above their wings as compared to the air huh? moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly. Mm. Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings. Mm. Now, space is a vacuum. Ah! It has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food. Why? 
because birds depend on gravity mm -hmm. to push their food downwards. Mm. What if universe stopped expanding? Wait, is it going on a diet? Grow up, um some. Scientists believe that universe will stop expanding when the matter present inside it crosses a critical threshold. If the amount of matter present crosses the critical threshold, then the universe will first slow down and then finally stop. Hmm. Now what? As per scientists, as matter has increased, so has gravity. So, gravity will start pulling everything inwards. The universe will now start contracting. It will start getting denser as well as hotter huh? as it keeps on contracting further. Eventually, it will collapse into singularity. Mm. Scientists also refer to this event as the Big Crunch, as in reverse of the Big Bang. Mm. As per one more research, dark energy is primarily responsible for the expanding universe. Huh? As not much is known about dark energy, it is difficult to predict its effect on a contracting universe. Mm. Why do our eyes get dry? Not my eyes. They have a bath every day. Oh, um some. Dry eye is a condition in which our eyes lack the tears necessary to nourish or lubricate them. Mm. Most common causes of dry eyes are, firstly, decrease in the amount of tears produced by one's eyes. This may be caused due to aging, certain medications, inflammation of our tear glands, etc. Secondly, increase in the evaporation of tears from one's eyes. This may be caused due to dry air or wind. Mm. Also, performing certain activities which require higher concentration oh. like sitting in front of the computer or reading books may reduce the frequency of our eye blinking and thus lead to increased evaporation oh. of our tears. Mm. Lastly, our tears are mostly composed of water, oil, mucus, antibodies, and special proteins. Imbalance in the composition of these may lead to dry eyes. Mm. What if we could breathe underwater? Then I won't need to use my submarine anymore. Oh, <laughs> um some. Firstly, we could just jump in and check out the amazing coral reefs. Mm. Secondly, the way we fish could change forever. No more need of those fishing rods. Just jump in and catch your fish. But on the flip side, we will suffer from hypothermia if we start staying in water for a long time. Secondly, our eyes have not evolved to see underwater. Also, many water bodies are not clear enough for us to see far off objects. Thirdly, communication would be a huge problem. Talking underwater will not be easy, mm. and our present electronic devices will not work efficiently underwater. Mm. Lastly, this might be very bad news for many species living underwater as people will start building their homes underwater. Mm. Why do our eyes become red? Because we color them using red paint. Oh, um so, let me explain. Did you know that extremely tiny blood vessels are present on the surface of our eyes? Mm. Yes, they do. <laughs> when these blood vessels huh? get dilated or inflamed, our eyes appear red. Oh. In this condition, our red eyes are also sometimes referred to as bloodshot eyes. The most common causes of eye redness are allergies triggered due to irritants such as pollen, dust, perfume, or smoke. In this case, our eyes may also have itching, burning, or tearing. A condition called dry eye in which our eyes lack the tears necessary to nourish or lubricate them. An infection such as conjunctivitis. Sometimes conjunctivitis is also referred to as pink eye. Finally, eye redness can also be a result of trauma or injury to our eyes. What if sun suddenly became half its size? Then I would play basketball with it. <laughs> oh, um some. Firstly, there would be no need of freezers or air conditioners anymore. Everything on Earth would completely freeze. Secondly, assuming that Earth is still orbiting at the same distance, Earth will find itself out of the habitable zone of the sun, thus slowly but surely wiping out all life on it. 
Thirdly, oh. stocks of solar energy companies would completely tank as extremely less sunlight will reach Earth's surface. Mm. Fourthly, as there would be extreme scarcity of sunlight, plants in order to perform photosynthesis would probably turn blackish or darkish green in order to absorb as much incident sunlight as possible. Lastly, as sun's gravitational huh? pull would greatly reduce, outer planets of the solar system, namely Uranus and Neptune, may drift away into space. Mm. 